Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, my recent video on me comparing PSA 9 versus PSA 10s have got quite a lot of traction on my channel. Um, it seems like uh, a lot of people do like seeing, you know, why do people prefer maybe buying the PSA 9 versus a PSA 10 card, um, especially in Pokemon. So I thought I'd make sort of like a follow-up video on you know, I'll probably talk more about um, why I'm buying sort of certain cards in a 9 uh, rather than 10, why I think the 9 is still such a good value, um, and then I'll use sort of my recent purchases uh, from PWCC auctions, so explain why I decided to bid on them and the price that I won them for, and you know, my sort of logic behind why I'm buying these uh, PSA 9 cards. Yeah, so let's get into it. So all the cards you see today will be uh, PSA 9 copies uh, from actually modern to more vintage uh, Pokemon cards. So maybe we can just go through it. Um, nice. So this is a Unbroken Bonds uh, full art from the uh, Sun and Moon era. And the reason why I really love these Rainbow Rare cards from the Sun and Moon era is because um, a lot of these were sort of considered the chase cards uh, from the set. Um, you know, these cards are pretty hard to find in a box. Uh, these, you know, booster boxes, Unbroken Bonds, uh, I think it's going for several hundreds closing to the $1,000 gap. Um, and yet these sort of chase cards from the set go for a very low price. So for reference, I won this with buyer's premium for $37. Um, so, you know, I think that's a great deal. If let's say uh, grading was $15, um, this was right around 20-ish uh, dollars. Uh, you know, if I paid a raw copy and then, you know, this is a pretty good condition card. Um, although it did get a nine, I think it's great. I think it's, um, especially just with the boxes going for so much. Um, I think these hyper rare, uh, rainbow cards are a good buy. Similarly, I got another unbroken bonds card. Uh, this is another graded 9 copy. Yeah, so this card was right around $30 as well that I picked it up for. So again, you know, this is basically, I don't know, $15 for the card, $15 for grading. So just because I'm getting these cards at such a low price, um, you know, I feel like as a, you know, if you're investing in this or a collector, I think it's, you know, a beautiful card already in a case for you. Um, and it's, you know, 30 bucks. So like, I feel like these are so hard to pull. Um, again, I believe the pull rate was one to two per box. Um, so why not just get the chase card already graded for 30 bucks? That's probably close to the price of almost one pack. Um, this is an interesting card. Got this card right around for a hundred dollars after buyer's premium. Uh, so what is really cool about this card is that um, this is sort of the secret rares from the black and white era. So I consider this fairly vintage now. Um, why did I pick this up? You know, it's not a super popular Pokemon, but I think this card has a lot of um, rarity aspects to it. Um, these cards were extremely hard to pull. Um, and then, you know, now I think, you know, they're considered sort of uh, they, they were secret rares, um, as you can see here, and I think that um, the boxes of Plasma Freeze go for so much. I think a booster box, or sorry, a booster pack costs more than this card right now. So I think, you know, if you can get one of the chase cards, the secret rares, um, I'm not even sure if there's one secret rare per box. I think it might be like a per case thing. So I think. Definitely, when I see these black and white um, secret rares, I definitely want to pick them up uh, just for the rarity aspect. So this was probably my more pricier purchase. Um, oh, another beautiful card. 
So this is a uh, prime card from the Heart Gold Soul Silver era. Uh, this card, you know, this is I think I made a video about um, prime cards and why I love them. Um, I honestly am just a huge fan of these silver borders. Um, I love the level X cards, the EX cards, but this card cost me uh, right around $37, I believe. So again, you know, prime cards, they were a bit more per box. I think it was on the range of four to six primes per box. Um, but nonetheless, you know, the prime box goes for five to six K, a lot of them. Um, so, you know, if you can get one of the chase cards, which is the prime cards for under $40, already graded a nine, I think it's, you know, a good deal, especially, you know, when you get like, for example, 10 of this, it will be several hundreds of dollars. So I think getting a nine, so this, you know, I basically, you know, there is some flaws on the back, but I think it's still overall quite a clean card. And honestly, nines in general, I think is quite clean. Um, you know, I feel like you can't really go too wrong with it since the price point is so much more affordable. Oh, I forgot about this card. Another beautiful card. So this is a ground on EX from the 2003, uh, it's a black star promo. I think this was part of a tin. I think getting even the nine of these kind of, um, you know, black star EX promo cards are quite difficult. Um, but like, just look at the silver texture on these cards. It's beautiful. So this card I paid, um, after buys premium $103. You know, which honestly, I, I have no problem paying this. Um, I think it's, uh, you know, it's a vintage card. It's, uh, in, you know, it's extremely hard to grade because of, you know, the foiling. It's so easy to chip this. Um, and I, yeah, it's a nine. I think it's a very solid grade. I think it's um, in good condition, you know, happy with this purchase. So... Another beautiful EX cards, uh, the X Plowed EX from Crystal Guardians. Uh, so similar to my previous logic, you know, these are again, uh, pretty much the chase cards um, in a lot of these sort of EX era. I won this for $60 plus bias premium, uh, like including bias premium. So basically this was like a 40-ish dollar raw card. Um, so, you know, I think, you know, finding a card this mint raw is pretty difficult by itself. Um, a lot of them are prone to sort of hollow scratches. So, uh, yeah, honestly, couldn't be happier getting a clean version, already graded a nine, under $60. And yeah, similarly, I got the Agron, a uh, beautiful hollow pattern. Uh, the back is quite nice too. Uh, these cards are the kind of cards I grew up with, so I do have a uh, bias, or I guess you can say a little bit of an attachment to these types of cards. This one I paid right under $100 after bias premium. Uh, yeah, again, beautiful card. Uh, love the EX here, love the silver borders. I do think they're extremely hard to find uh, mint in a raw condition for like, you know, you've minus grading fee $40. I think you cannot find it on eBay. Um, I tried before with these EX cards, they're tricky. You you think they're mint. I even went to a game store, um, you know, saw one that I thought was pretty mint, graded it, and then it got like an eight or a seven. So, you know, I learned my lesson. I'm just going to buy the nines. They're affordable. They're good value. And, you know, it's a peace of mind. You know that you're getting a minty copy. Yeah, and this is one of the earlier sort of EX series from the EX Dragon series. Um, you know, not the most popular Pokemon, but definitely I cannot hate the style. Beautiful hollow again with the sort of E series border. This one after bias premium was right at fifty dollars, uh, which um, you know, honestly, can't say too much about that. I think it's not a bad deal. I didn't even know I won this card. Uh, so this is a PSA 9 uh, Dark Hypno from the Team Rocket series. And, you know, I think with Watsy, I'm going to have to go 9s all the way, to be honest. I think 
the 9 and the 10 price, um, maybe not for this card in particular. I know the hollow is not too hard to grade for this, but a lot of the sort of Watsi era hollows, the 9 and 10 is like tenfold difference. Um, and I just can't accept uh, paying that much, especially, you know, if if the 10s don't really look like a true flawless card. Um, you know, I think the 9s are pretty clean, like you can see from this card. You know, like you can't really see too easily any visible uh, flaws. Centering looks pretty decent too. Um, so, you know, and it's first edition. And I only paid $70 after buyer's premium for a first edition hollow. Like, think about that. You know, you buy a uh, unweighed pack. You know, if it's really unweighed, we don't even know. And that's usually around $300. 400 300 to 400 over three times the price of this card this card was 70 dollars mint graded nine hollow why risk the sort of unweighed pack like i get the sealed premium but you know i i think this is a lot more uh bang for your buck in my personal opinion just buy the hollow buy the nine i think that's honestly one of the best values uh, for me personally, and that's, you know, that's clearly, you can see what I'm doing. And, you know, for modern, although the price differential is not as great as, uh, you know, for example, the vintage 10s and the 9s, uh, I still think, you know, the prices, you know, these, I'm, I'm content with a 9, let's say that. Uh, again, this is Sun and Moon era. We all know Team Up is an extremely sort of uh, limited uh, print run in the Sun and Moon era. The booster boxes are the most expensive in the Sun and Moon era. Uh, so Team Up, I think, definitely fetches a bit of a premium. Despite that, this card was only $38 after buyer's premium. You know, one of the chase cards again from the booster box, and the booster box goes for so much money. Um, I think, you know, just getting this uh, card, you know, already graded for 38 bucks is a steal and I, I you know i i do love the art and i do think a lot of people actually hate on rainbow rares um they say you know it all looks the same but i honestly i don't know I, I i do like it i think i'm buying things when people don't like them so right now a lot of people are hating on rainbow rares um prices are plummeting uh, a lot of people are hating on hidden fates right now too or they just forget that those exist um, so I've been buying those up, uh, you know, I feel like I'm the type of buyer to buy things when everybody hates it. So, cause my overall goal is to collect all the hollows, all the chase cards from each series in a PSA nine. And so, yeah, similarly, another, uh, you know, it's not a popular Pokemon by any means, but it is a rainbow rare. It is quite, uh, hard to pull. Pretty limited, probably one to two Rainbow Rare per box. Um, and you know, Guardians Rising is also quite old now. The booster boxes do cost quite a lot. And guys, this was $23 after buyer's premium. If you think about it, the grading cost is $15 and you're not even accounting for shipping, um, insurance, all of that risk, you know, like all of your supplies. So it's gonna be more than $15. So I'm paying, you know, $5 more for a card that's already graded. Um, you know, I feel like this is such a good deal. And I honestly, you know, I don't, I, I love the texture in my own, in my opinion. So I, I yeah, I'm really happy with uh, these purchases. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, this was my most recent purchase. I've just been trying to, you know, focus my collection goals on the nines, um, especially the EX and Level X uh, series, since those are sort of what I grew up with. But, you know, if I see a really good deal with, you know, let's say the Rainbow Wears right now, it's super undervalued, in my opinion, um, I'll pick these up, you know, 20 bucks, you know, all day long. Rainbow Wears uh, already graded for $20. I think you can't really go too wrong there. Um, yeah, Prime 2. Beautiful cards, in my opinion. So the total of these was under $800, I believe, after everything. So I got 
I feel like this is a pretty good purchase for myself. Um, definitely happy. I think these are good quality cards. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. You know, this was a sort of a spread from all generations. Uh, we got some Watsi, we got Modern, we got Mid-Era. Um, yeah, so if you guys do enjoy this video, please uh, consider using my eBay affiliate link in the description below. That will help out the channel and no cost to you. And if you can, uh, please also like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in another video. Peace.